go ahead and cancel those rangers and uh, use that bit of extra gold to finish the replenishment for this army. Just so they're good to go. That seals up the northern border. I'm going to leave Mr. General Nordell up here with Washington to help guard Quebec. So we'll recruit that extra line infantry from uh, from up there so that it is much closer. We'll add that to his army. Alright. Not bad. Hopefully with these two stacks. Uh, let's see, that's General Garth Bond. And uh, General Benedict Kitchener here in Albany. We'll be able to hold off against Pennsylvania's might. And we may even be able to strike out... Oh, whoops, that's the wrong army. Get back on Albany. May be able to strike out at the Iroquois territory here soon. Just held by the British. Alright, let's see what the British think of... that. More naval movement in the south. I don't know what they're doing down there. Ooh, yeah, I'm glad I left that army up there to help Washington because there's more British troops moving in Quebec, burning down farms and causing chaos. France wants a military alliance. Let's do a counteroffer. Let's see, Quest Alliance, Technology? Yeah, no, they're way ahead of us. Military Access, 20 turns. And we'll give you 270 gold because it's all we have. Nope, they're not interested. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. One of our politicians has a mistress, which increases the happiness of the nobility class. Fire by rank is complete. That should help our auto-resolve battles as well. Alright, Giles Nordell. And we have a university in Maine, which should also speed up our research. Next, uh, socket bayonets? Yes. Should help with our melee fighting. Let's see, Brunswick, what are you working on? We'll do joint stock companies there, and that'll help the wealth of our towns increase. Go ahead and do a classical university as well. Keep that research going. Okay, so we have two stacks here in the north, two in the south, which is their four. We need to have a third stack going in the south. Once we get that third stack going, that will be what we move on the Iroquois territory with, I think. Perhaps we'll move the battle-hardened troops from Albany against the Iroquois territory and leave the new stack to defend. Either way, it starts with a general... Eh, actually, we'll start with some just basic troops.
and we'll use this army to protect New Haven, our college town. We have a good income, lines are mostly secure, things are looking pretty good, guys. Thankfully, these guys are mostly militia. One line infantry there, and a Hessian line infantry. But mostly militia. Unseen, unheard. See, can we burn down their capital? Nope, he got caught. Secrecy, my watchword. Can't afford to repair our farms either. Burn down the port here. Yes! That's more like it. Let's end the turn here in just a second. It's now the summer of 1787. This is definitely a long protracted revolutionary war. Alright, let's see what they do next. Okay, we have another stack moving towards Albany. Ah, they're gonna charge right for Quebec. Brave move, boys, brave move. They are costing me a lot of repairs. This army to support Albany. And let's go ahead and recruit a general for this new army. Aldred Gilpin. Plus one morale and plus one command. Alright. And we have a barracks upgrade. A military Academy. Let's go ahead and do that too. Recruit a line infantry to add to our new stack here. One thing is kind of bothering me up here. Uh, Washington's army is using a lot of low uh, rank units that only have 120 men per regiment versus like 300 for the enemy. That's not good. Let's see if we can't exchange a few of those. Um, we'll have Washington go hold up in Quebec. And then we'll send General Nordell to this outlying town. Send three units of Minutemen. Here, Ready for give them some new units there. Some more Minutemen. Ready and waiting for. Let's see line infantry. Mark, for your... Definitely give Washington all of the good stuff here, wherever possible. Let's send one more of these line infantry north. March. We really need to swap out these low ranked units so that we can at least match the British in number, if not training. 
Alright, where are the British going to move next? I'm going to guess New York once again. We can actually intercept the British here with both of our armies. That's going to be nasty for them. Okay, so this will actually be a fort interception, which is kind of amusing. Let's see, their deployment zone is where? Over here, okay. Go ahead and set cannons outside of the walls to hit them as they come in. gonna fill the walls. Let's see. Ignore the horse. Do we have to work with? Line infantry there. Line infantry there. Line infantry on this side. So where's some militia? Militia. Militia. Line infantry there. Line infantry there. Let's see Rangers. There. Militia on this side. Just for extra protection. Dragoons, we'll have them, uh, have them outside the walls. And here we go. Oh crap, they're over there. Fort Pathfinding, ah! Oh well. Oh, we do have units over here. That's new. Well, everyone do the dance here. basically force their hand at least. I think I'm gonna lose both of these cannons though. Let's actually pull you guys back inside the fort. Not good. Wow, what a nasty mess. Yes, we lost our cannon. They got swarmed right in the middle of that. Should have pulled them back faster. Ooh. 
nasty stuff indeed. Let's pull these dragoons back. They're fighting colonial militia that are actually putting up a good fight. I'm quite surprised there. Form back up here. So that's a good lesson for you guys. Never stake your claim on where the enemy will deploy because you will probably be wrong. We are facing not quite the wrong direction, but close enough. There's that fire by rank. One volley followed by the next. Vulcan is doing quite well. Here comes that fire by rank. Oh, nope, they're reloading. Rolling. Oh, they're charging. So many dead men. Broke the reds charge there. Man, what a battle. A nasty engagement over here too, it looks like. I'll have you guys form up over here. some Native American Irregulars that are trying to form up on my Dragoons over here. We're not going to allow that. Hopefully. We got one small volley off, but that's going to end him right there. We have more British approaching the wall from the left flank. Outside the walls to secure that area. Ooh, they blew a hole in our walls there. Nasty. What we're going to do next here is actually march a line of infantry against their line. Start wrapping this thing up here. What do they have left after all that chaos? Artillery, some Provincial Cavalry, not a lot. I don't like marching line infantry against artillery, but you basically have no other option. Here come our first reinforcements. General's bodyguard, that's not very helpful. 
let's just get you inside of the fort here. Some of these guys are a little bit low on ammo, but it should be enough to do what we have to. Wow. What a field of battle there. Okay, we have rangers and some militia and line infantry that will remain to man the walls. Everyone else, we're going to march on their line. Just straight up march on their line. Which is attempting to retreat, it looks like. So that's one unit of dragoons. There's the other one. You guys come on around here. Whoa, they're cavalry charged. That was unexpected. That's why you gotta be careful with that fast forward. Oh, whoops, they all charged. We go into square formation here to protect against the cavalry. Which protects them from charges on all sides. It allows them to fire in every single direction. Close victory. That definitely could have gone better, but for our terrible deployment, that was okay. We lost. 300 men to friendly fire due to bad deployments. Ugh. France, I'm not going to trade you Acadia. I wonder how useful that would actually be. We give France a, there is a port in this region that has not yet been holding developed. point. Select the type of port to construct. Acadia is a big source of income for me, though. Population grow. A trade allows the construction of warships. By the land, march. Ooh, our income fell by a lot. And I think it's all going to go to replenishing this unit of uh, troops that got so torn up there. I actually wonder here, if I take Montreal, will France trade that in exchange for the uh, Windward Islands? It might be worth a shot. You know what? Let's give it a shot. There's not much else going on at the moment. Let's burn down that port again. Yeah, he's going to get caught and executed one of these days. I guess I'll move this guy and his small motley crew up here into the Iroquois territory. Forward for crown and country. Let's give one more shot trying to burn down the capital here. Looking and no such luck. Moving. So let's see if taking Montreal would get France to join us. I've got a feeling that this army is close enough to protect it, so let's send Washington in to do the dirty work. Alright, we have a strong victory there. Some significant losses, but... That's a lot of income. What do you think, France? Quest Alliance. 
we'll give you for Canada in exchange for the Windward Islands. Let's see what they think. No. Okay, how about Quest Alliance regions? Windward Islands. Payments. What else can I give them? How about 20 turns of military access? Not quite. Screw it, let's just give them Acadia. Okay, so we've given them Acadia. Question is, can we hold on to Montreal by ourselves? Let's find out. I'm hoping that France is going to add some armies to North America now to help me out. Now that they actually have a foothold in North America. Okay, Quebec is in danger. Let's see if we can hold the line here. Alright guys, well that is the state of the Union at the moment. France is settling in up here in Acadia. Hopefully they will use it to help us. Huh. We have an option to trade with the Huron Bayandot. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Oh, come on guys. Request trade agreement. Payment. Oh, come on. Five turns of military access. Okay, we'll buy them off next turn. Hopefully. Let's burn down one more port. Hopefully. Nope. Ah, the British raided New York with their... Oh, crap, their army. How did I miss that? They landed an entire army in... New York. Alright, guys, that will probably be our next major battle. We'll use Alfred Gilpin to reinforce Albany and send General Bond south to New York Harbor to retake it from the British General Woodrow Bryant. And hopefully Washington and General Nordell can hold on to both Quebec and Montreal. We're doing some daring moves here, but we gotta wrap this war up eventually. I will see you guys next time for the Battle of New York Harbor.